Welcome back to my channel, everyone. How are you doing? Well, today we're gonna get right into learning how to convert units of length. I'm gonna teach you all about what convert means and some easy tips to set yourself up for success. Let's dig in. Okay, I wanna start with this real life example of a basketball hoop. Its height is 10 feet. Let's figure out how many inches tall is the hoop. And I'm gonna teach you a really easy strategy to get this all set up. Okay, so let's come back to the whiteboard so I can show you my favorite strategy for trying to figure out a problem like this where they're giving us one unit and in this problem, they gave us feet. So I write, I just abbreviate and I write feet above one side. And then I'm wanting to know how many inches tall it is. So I'm gonna put inches over on this side and I'm gonna leave the middle for something called a rule. And if you haven't heard that before, you can go back and watch my video about input output tables. This goes perfectly with that. And a rule is just a pattern to get from feet to inches or whatever two units you're working with. So in this case, we can just go ahead and start with what we already know. So we already know that one foot is how many inches? Okay, great, 12 inches. Okay, so then I think about how do I get from one foot to 12 inches? Is there a pattern that you can see that could get me from here to here? Okay, so you might be thinking it could be multiply a multiplying pattern. And so one times what equals 12? Okay, one times 12 equals 12. So that means if I'm wanting to look at this 10 foot basketball uh, hoop, then I can use that same rule to find out the mystery of the inches. I can use times 12. Okay, so then we can take a look. I love multiplying by 10 because we can think about it this way. What is 12 times one? Okay, it's 12. And then how many zeros are in my two factors? Oh, just one. So I'm just gonna put one over here. So the answer is 120 inches. All right, my next example is a soccer field. My husband wanted me to mention though that most of the world calls this football and the field is called a pitch, so it would be a football pitch. And this is 105 meters long, and we want to know how many centimeters long it is. So let's do our same strategy and find this one out. All right, so let's use the same strategy we used for the last problem, but this time we're going from meters to centimeters. And we know that in one meter, there are 100 centimeters. And you can always look these up anytime you're doing a conversion problem. You can always look up the, you know, the information that you need, and then it can help you find the rule and then find the information that they're trying to get you to find. So in this case, we're trying to find 105 meters. And we just need to know the rule to figure this out. So how do you think you get from one to 100 with multiplying? These are always gonna be multiplying or dividing problems. But since we're getting bigger, we know it's multiplying. Okay, great, times one times 100. So then we just need to do that to 105. And let's try my shortcut of when you see a number like 100 or 10 or 1,000 that you're multiplying by, you can start with just this, 105 times 1. What's that? 
Okay, great, 105. And then how many zeros are in my factors? Okay, I've got these two on the end. So I'm going to put two more zeros and then place my comma. So it's 10,500 centimeters. All right, here's another real life example I thought would be cool. So the Burj Khalifa in Dubai is the tallest building in the world and it's about 2,721 feet tall. I thought we could figure out how many yards tall it is. So why don't you pause the video and try this one out. Make a table that has feet and yards. Write down what you know, which is that there's three feet in one yard. And think about what the rule would be. Then we can do that to the 2,721. Okay, so I put down that divided by three is the rule because three divided by three equals one. So if I do that same rule to our larger number, then I will get the amount of yards. All right, so 907 yards is our answer, and I think you are ready to convert any length to another unit. So try it out with some other units, see what you think. All you've gotta do is just find the rule and you're good to go. All right, thank you everyone. All right, well it was so good to hang out with you. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you can use it in your math classes. Good luck.